there's so much here that a lot of our people don't see. Yeah. And maybe it's just because, you know, when you're somewhere else and you come to Ghana, you're able to see all the different opportunities. Mm -hmm. and, you know, um, there's a lot of things that we can do to help our people. So if you're a creative-minded person, people not gonna get you. That's just yes. what you're gonna have to accept. Outside the box. They're gonna get it after. Yeah, Like, yeah. you know, after the whole dream has came, right. then they're gonna be like, oh, then they're gonna wanna jump on it. But you're gonna be like, mm. Yes. But I told you and you was like, no. Sometimes just being able to do a simple task, mm -hmm. like go and renew your license or go and like renew fun, your fun. registration. Like hey, doing, <laughs> doing these. You said it, hey. I've had somebody tell me I need to go to their house uh -huh. for the meeting. Uh -huh. okay. I bet you do. Uh -huh. You That's, know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, excuse mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. to, to go and do what? Right, right. I don't even know you. Mm -hmm. For what? Let's meet at a cafe. Yeah. I kept saying that. And he was like, no, I think that, you know. And I've, I've had, quote unquote, someone tell me, sometimes in order to get what you want, you have to do certain things. There. You have to do certain things to get what you want. Yeah. And if you want to, to get where you want in life, you have to do certain things. Hey, uh, are you okay? Huh? I've literally had somebody say that to me. Really? I, I promise. Hey guys, welcome back. So today, I'm really excited about this episode because today I'm meeting with Sheba, also known as Abstract. Yes. yes okay. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so we just met a few days ago yes. and I was told about your space because this space is absolutely amazing. Thank you. I don't know how you've managed to put this together. I don't know. But well, I mean, we're going to get there. There's like, I feel like there's just so many things that I just need to ask you right now. But first of all, I'm going to start with, are you Ghanaian? Yes, Ghanaian-American. Okay, Ghanaian-American. Okay, yeah. and how long have you been in Ghana? Officially living mm -hmm. for about three years. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And what made you decide to move back to Ghana? Mm, a nice little combo of racism, mm -hmm. lack of peace of mind, and just, just being tired, just wanting something new. Mm. Um, I enjoy seeing people that look like me. Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow, okay. So you're saying racism, like, did you have personal experiences that had happened to you? Oh, yeah, and just in general, you know, I mean, if you are born and raised there, you're going you're gonna to feel something eventually, mm. um, and then just seeing it all around you, you know, right. and not wanting, you know, my kids to, when I have kids, yeah, not wanting them to partake. Mm. So do you feel like you... Because if you, you, were you, you were born there, were you mm -hmm. born there? Yes. Okay, so how did you actually notice? Because you know sometimes when we're born into an environment, we don't necessarily s notice that we're in this type of environment. We don't notice that maybe it's toxic or whatever. Um, how did you actually notice that this environment's not um, good? It's pretty overt, you know, mm. it's overt racism. Good old down south overt <laughs> racism, the best kind you can get. You wow. know, um, yeah, just, you know, the name calling, um, Mm. And then just that, also that nice, subtle, sweet, yeah, racism. yeah, you know, mm -hmm. condescending tones. Mm. You know, you're good for for it's for you for a black woman. Oh wow, right, like right. things like that. Mm. As you kind of hear the little tonations or whatever here and there. Yeah. Oh, you're not like them. Or, mm. oh, you're so good. Right. Oh, wow. well behaved, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, <laughs> all of that you know? right just get tired of it um and yeah. then also like just me wanting to there's so much here that a lot of our people don't see yeah and mm -hmm. maybe it's just because you know when you're somewhere else and you come to ghana you are able to see all the different opportunities mm -hmm. and, you know um there's a lot of things that we can do to help our people okay. um in a way um that because there are people, and we are their people, mm. and we are all one. Yeah. So I don't believe in that type of categorization, sep separateness. Mm. Um, I feel like the only way we're going to grow is if we start working together. Yeah. Because um, there's so much talent in Ghana. It's crazy, So it? much yeah. untapped mm, talent, mm, 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 you mm. know. So that's one reason why I wanted to start Artopia. Because yeah. Um, one of the goals is to highlight, you know, unseen talent, mm -hmm. whether it's musically, artistically, yeah. it's all art, 
you know. So yeah, that okay. that's. So what were you doing in the U.S. before you came here? Um, I was in the tech industry. Um, I okay. still am, and um, yeah, just I've always been a techie. Mm. So just merging um, graphic design, motion design, you know, video editing, yeah. animation, all of those things. Um, okay, my skill set. So, okay. Yeah. So do you still work like remotely or something? Here and there, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. So just um, also just wanting to pass the skill set along here. Mm. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're building a production team within Artopia as well. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love, I love, like I said, I love what you're doing here. I think Thank it's you. pretty amazing. Thank you. So, like, what was the final straw for you where you felt like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do the move? Because pe lots of people talk about doing the move, mm. and it never really happens. They talk about it 10 years, 15 years, you know, it keeps going. But you actually have made that step. What was it for you that was the <laughs> this final? This ain't my first time. Oh, you've tried before? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell I me. I mean, so I'm a risk taker, mm -hmm. so... I just feel like I'm going to keep trying something until it works. Right. And if it doesn't, mm -hmm. so what? You just adjust I'm and then you just try again. Mind. Yeah. You know? So I'm not afraid to just do stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not always the best outcome, mm -hmm. but eventually it will be. Yeah. Just, yeah. You know, if it's something you're passionate about, it's something you love mm. and it's something in your heart, you're going to mm -hmm. just keep pushing until it happens. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Okay. And so what do you think failed the first time you tried? Um, How many times did you try? Um, once. Okay. One time it was, and I, f I feel like there's so many of us who have done this, a vacation that merged into a move. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just have like, fun. Just like, you know what? <laughs> I don't like my job anyway. Yeah. I'm not going to come back. Mm. And then you just be like, well, ran out of money. The reality. <sighs> Yeah. Go ahead and try again. Mm hmm But nah, but now like nah I'm here here. Okay. <laughs> so when you tried, how long had you tried for? Probably like three months. Okay. And then yeah, you know, the funds yeah. funds run out. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So, <laughs> so Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You had but, to pick up and go back. Mm -hmm, I get that. Mm -hmm. But that's good though, because I mean, although three months is not a long period of time, it still gives you some insight into Absolutely. you know the things that you can do when you come here and yeah. you know what it sort of be like a little bit, you mm -hmm. know. And you know, I've been going back and forth for a very long time, so just kind of mm -hmm. like. In the back of my mind, I always knew I wanted to do it. I just didn't know how it was going to happen. Mm. How, when, where, why. Yeah. I didn't have the answer. Sometimes you don't need the answer. You don't answers. have the answer, You, you know? don't need to have the answer <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes just take that just step, the you know. Will come, like, you know. It will happen, you know. But yeah, just, you know, with the help of Jesus. <laughs> you know, Pinterest boards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And just. Just going for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so did Pete, the first time you tried to like be here, did people think you were crazy? What did your family think? Oh yeah, everybody thinks I'm nuts. I mean, but I, <laughs> I feel like right now they've accepted it. Right, you know, right, right. Like, Why? So did you feel like a level of shame having no, gone back? No, I don't care. I, I really <laughs> do not. Like, for, like I've always been a person she where, don't care. you know, like <laughs> people are going to say whatever. And sometimes... Oh, my gosh. She has my mindset. <laughs> I'm like... That's why we... Oh, you know that's, that's, honestly, that's why we vibe. Yeah. It, I don't care. That, I'm the like, same. I'm like... Psh, well, I mean, okay. this is me. And, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like people don't... I've always felt like people don't get me my whole life. So that ain't nothing new. Yeah. So if you're a creative-minded person, people not going to get you. That's just yes. what you're going to have to accept. It's outside the box. They're going to get it after. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, after mm -hmm. the whole dream has came, right. then they're going to be like, oh, then they're going to want to jump on it. But you're going to be like, mm. Yes. But I told you and you was like, no. So That's so right. You know, when I moved to Ghana, someone said to me, right, at first, they'll ask you why you're doing it. And then when you succeed, they'll ask you how you did it. <laughs> and I'm like, it's so true. Like, just let me do my thing. Yeah. Just, just it's let not me do a my... formulaic this, process. Yeah. You kind of learn as you go. Um, mm -hmm. Ghana is, is, a, is an entity on its own. Mm. And you can't have any expectations. Yeah. I think there's a lot of things that, you know, that we learned that we could pass on to people that are looking to make that yeah. move. Don't have no expect. Don't expect nothing. Okay. 
put your keep your standards low mm -hmm. so that if things do happen you be like oh cool yeah right don't 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 raise them mm -hmm. don't don't raise them because you're gonna get <laughs> disappointed yes. however there's so many i mean we love to talk about the negative stuff but there's a lot of like positive things mm -hmm. and we're here for a reason as much as we may yeah. complain sometimes mm -hmm. There's nothing like peace of mind. You can't buy it. You can't my sell words? it. Peace you can't. Yes. You know, when you talk to anybody that has made that move, that's mm -hmm. like the number one reason. Yeah. But I, I would just want a lot of our people to understand that. Mm -hmm. Like here is that that's something money can't buy. Yeah. And as horrible as the economy is, as horrible as the mm -hmm. government and, and the, the, the corruption, mm -hmm. it's like. If we already know, okay, this is what they're doing, now what are we going to do as a collective right. of people? Because, mm. I mean, like, starting Artopia is somewhat of a movement. It's not just, like, a mm. place to come. It's also a creative movement because yeah. it's, you know, bringing life-minded individuals mm -hmm. together to create change. Yeah. So that's what a movement, that's what a revolution is about. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, I, I mean, I... I keep saying I really like the space. <laughs> but like when I came in here today, I honestly was not expecting all this. Aww. I love the different pockets and the different things that you have. Like how did you take that bold step to actually create this? Because I'm not being funny, like it's a risk. Mm. It, is, it is a risk because although we do have creatives here, to actually put your money into mm. this and start is not the easiest. Yeah, so how was that? What was that like? Well, you know... I mentioned Jesus earlier. I'm going to mention him <laughs> again because I, I don't have the answers. Mm. I just feel like if you pray on something and you don't even know how it's going to happen, mm. that's my entire life. I yeah. never know, like, the full plot of something. Yeah. I just have an idea. Gosh, and I just be sweet. like, look, I literally oh had no money when I started doing, like... Sound, she sounds like me. Like, like are you me? Like, I, what? You know, it was an idea. And, and mm. so... I, I want to give a shout out to my very good friend who kind of like pushed me to go for it because mm. initially I was just thinking of opening a, a store to sell clothing. Right. But I was like, I'm not somebody that's that ordinary. Like I like to do things different. And I, I was like, exactly what, what do saying. we have in the area yeah. like this? Nothing. Mm -hmm. How many, you know, we have a lot of clothing stores, we have a lot of beauty supply, yeah. we have restaurants, we mm -hmm. have clubs. That's like the same type of... Yeah. So, for me, I wanted a place where I could hang out. Because mm -hmm. I've always wanted a space where I'm like, where's all the creatives? Where yeah. are all the artists? So, right. where can I meet them? Mm -hmm. So, and I, know, I know other people feel that way, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's hard to find a place where... Because Ghana is so niche. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things that are here that you would never know are here. Would, <laughs> like, like, I wouldn't know about this place. Exactly. How was so, I supposed to know? No, exactly. And so, like, unless you know somebody from that community, you'll never know. Yeah. There's a huge film community there's mm. a huge visual art community there's a huge gaming and nerd mm. tech community mm. oh everything you could think of is in ghana everything right. so when people are moving here they shouldn't think that oh people i mean sometimes people when it comes to africa they have this backwards thinking like mm -hmm. like when i show people videos and pictures of artopia they don't even think it's here yeah like yeah. they think it's Oh, mm -hmm. is this abroad? Oh, what, did you open this? Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm just like, nah, this yeah. is here. Right. And like, wait, wait. Like, I have to explain it multiple times mm. because that's, and it's sad that mm. we can't see ourselves as having something dope. We deserve dope thing. stuff. Well, Put that on the we're shirt. such a colorful people as well. That's yeah. the thing. So I just, I don't understand why we stifle ourselves sometimes. Put like, that on a t-shirt. We deserve dope stuff. Mm. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of things do you do? Because I know obviously you're a creative. What do you do yourself personally? A lot. Um, okay, so I'm a musician. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a fashion designer. I heard you can rap. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. You know what I'm saying? I heard you can rap. Yeah, I'm a lyricist, a vocalist. Um, I she should dabble rap, right? into... <laughs> she should give us like just a couple bars or something, right? Come on okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, I'll put her on the spot. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, do you you freestyle? A little, okay. but I, I'm a writer. I like to write. I like to write. 
Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I like writing. Um, let's see. What can I give you? Um, it's so many days and so many ways you've been into my imagination. You took out a star up out of the sky and said it was mine for the taking. And now I am patiently waiting inside of your imagination. <laughs> That's a little song. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice. I like the flow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I'm a lyricist. I'm a vocalist. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a fashion designer. Um, okay. I saw so, a couple of your designs that we'll we'll take a look at thank afterwards. You, thank yeah. you. Sometimes it's like weird to talk about yourself. It but, is. It is. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah, um, visual artist, um, mm -hmm. nerd, tech, <laughs> gamer, a little bit, little, 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 little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just a creative entrepreneur. Okay. And yeah. Okay. So does this place actually make you money? How does it how does it make you money? So Tell me about it. that's a layered question. Because mm -hmm. um, we are a nonprofit, so we're still mm. like we're still trying to um, you know, apply for various grants, things like that. Yeah. It's starting to. But um, the more that we get our name out there, the more mm. people come and support. Um, you know, we're we're highlighting our subscription packages okay. that we have, so monthly um, subscription plans that are available for like whatever you want to do. If you're an artist, oh. you could come here and paint um, and draw. If you're into fashion, we have fashion deals, um, gaming packages, you know, mm -hmm. and people that just want to be in the space and yeah. also co-working space for people to come bring their laptops. Mm. So things like that uh, are very beneficial mm. in bringing, you know, keeping the revenue coming in. Okay. So, yeah, whatever support, um, we have a GoFundMe link as well. Mm -hmm. But we want to just mainly, like, we want to keep it affordable for, we don't want it to just be for a certain, like, group right. of people. We want mm. everybody to enjoy it. Yeah. So that's why there's various packages that okay. can, you know. So what do your packages sort of start from? So starting from 180 CDs up. Um, is that I think, for each time you come? or No, so depending on what package it is. So, like, the entry package starts from 180 CDs and then goes up to about 600. Um, and then um, the gaming packages are as as much as 1200 and then low and then mm -hmm. it goes lower um to 500 is and that for the month or is that yeah, for, certain thir for 30 days oh okay. yeah yeah okay. so you can use the 30 days at any time you want it doesn't have to be consecutive oh, so yeah they're all 30 okay. day subscriptions and then yeah there's just different ones um and then our workshops for musicians mm. um we do songwriting workshops all the oh, time okay. but the bookable ones are for free um those are every wednesday so you mm -hmm. can book those and then um yeah so it's 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 tricky you know sometimes because we want to have that mixture of affordability but also cost effective and yeah like being mm. able to, you know, yeah, keep it's got the to place. run itself. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. So just figuring that out, and I think like the subscriptions are good for that because if you're a person that can support more, mm. um, like like for instance, um, our our gaming and our some of our fashion packages, like you get a free T-shirt every time you renew your subscription, oh, okay. or you know, free items mm. every time you renew. Um, whether it's an African print piece or mm. a T-shirt, so okay. those are those are incentives. Mm. Um, we want people to continue to yeah. renew. So, so the space is pretty new as well. When did yes, you open? Yes, it is. We opened in December, actually. Oh, so yeah. it's very yeah. new. So, how have you sort of been getting the word out? Because that's one uh, of the things, media. right? Social media mm. has been helpful, um, and then just you know, word of mouth. But I mean, mm. honestly, like the more you know, visibility we get, the better. Um, Cause it is a hidden gem. You yeah. don't really know it's back here um, mm -hmm. until you know. So yeah. But we're we're gonna get we're gonna get better signage. We're gonna get all those things. Mm. Um, they're coming. They're coming. Mm. It's and a you, rentable you, space as well. So okay. You can rent it for your various events, mm. whether it's like meetings yeah. or small get-togethers. It's a nice intimate space. Mm. So mm. you know, however you, whatever you like. Okay. <laughs> and you fund you self-funded this. Yes, ma'am. I'm Good. crazy, huh? No. <laughs> I, I, I cannot comment on that. You know, I, I I'm, 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 I, you, know, I you gotta be. I mean, every artist yes. is a little bit. Yeah. Little bit. 
No. Yeah, no, I, I, I do agree. Just, I do agree. You know, some days you'd be like, but I just, I just, I'm just somebody that believes that it's going to work eventually. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. just, because that's how it's been for everything in my life that I've ever tried or done. And mm -hmm. you may fail 10 times, 10,000 yeah. times, but you're going you're gonna to stand up mm -hmm. 20,000 times. Mm -hmm. So it's just making it past those days where you feel yeah. defeated. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you have an event and not that many people come. <laughs> no one comes. It's just, you just got to <laughs> tweak things. Yeah. You just have to keep going. I mean, mm. it's the passion that drives me to do this, or yeah. else I wouldn't do it. Yeah, of course. If it's something that I'm not passionate about, like, I you can't. ain't doing it. No. Uh, yeah, so, absolutely. Because yeah. how, where else are you going to get the wherewithal to, mm -hmm. to keep it going? Yeah, you know? no, absolutely. So, I agree. So what do you think you've done differently this time compared to the first time you tried to move? Yeah, definitely just like um, planning things out, getting things, like buying things by bulk. Mm. <laughs> that helps. Mm. I don't know if you know about Costco, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Girl, yes. So <laughs> to this day, like I'm still using some of the stuff that I got from Costco. So mm. shout out to Costco, you know, <laughs> free promo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> but um, yeah, just... You know, thinking ahead, planning ahead, um, but I, but I just I want to stress the financial. Want to stress that? Mm -hmm, Can't mm -hmm. stress that enough. Yeah, you need money. Yeah, you do. Let me say that again. You, <laughs> can you see the difference between you when you first moved here three years ago and how it is now in terms of how much money you need to live? Girl, you need double, triple the amount. Mm. Yeah, because gonna be gonna -ing, and yeah. it's like a lot of stuff that just happens. It pops up. Mm -hmm. You need to be prepared for light out. You need to be prepared for um just all it's just everything mm. you know that it comes with yeah um there you, you may just randomly have a drainage problem in your sink mm -hmm. or you know you know just things that you don't think about yeah that are big issues mm -hmm. sanitation issues as well light out issues i'm gonna mm. say that again because i'm gonna say light out issues <laughs> you know um mm -hmm. yeah just all of that mm. you just need what to do you think money. was like your the biggest expense shocker for you when you came here mm. just i would say like the utilities how like how unstable they are so mm -hmm. being that you get robbed literally like you'll put money on it and then it'll just Mm -hmm. You'll look the next day and it'll tell you that it's negative. Mm -hmm. You know, you just popped up. <laughs> you know, things like that. The yeah. robbery of it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So what have been, apart from obviously creating this space, what have been some of the things that you've really enjoyed about being back here? <sighs> Every morning, like, just when I wake up and I just, like, look out my window, I'm like, I'm in Ghana. It's the freedom, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, it's just a feeling. It's mm. like you feel at home. Yeah. You feel like you belong. You feel seen. That's also one of the things that it's mm. like, I feel like a person. I feel like a human. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I yeah. could just be a person. Mm. And I know I'm a black person. I know I'm an African, mm -hmm. you know? But it's like, you could just be. Yeah. Over there, you know, you're always reminded that mm. she's black. Yeah. Everybody else is just normal. You know right. what I mean? Like everybody else is mm -hmm. your other. Yeah. You know, like, mm -hmm. and understand. especially, you know, in, in the corporate world, you know, you're the only person that looks like you a lot mm -hmm. of times. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's when you see another person that mm -hmm. looks like you, you be so yeah. happy. Yeah. <laughs> Praise them. Hallelujah. Because yeah. <laughs> you just feel lonely and yeah. you just feel alone. And, mm -hmm. you know, you feel like, I could relate. These are my people, mm, you know, mm. and we're going to ride. We're going to ride this thing out. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things that, you know, that are good and bad mm. about us culturally and just some of the cultural norms. But we ride it. We're going to ride. Mm, it's just like, mm. you know, we may have a toxic relationship with Ghana, yeah. but we working on it. We in therapy. Yeah. That's what yeah. I like to say. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, that's so, a nice way to put it. Therapy, you know, we mm -hmm. we we're going to, we're doing the work. Yeah, okay? yeah, no, definitely, I <laughs> get it, I get it. Yeah, that's mm. how that's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, because if you love somebody, if you love, like you're gonna do the work. Yeah, so yeah, you have to. I, yeah. I definitely feel that as well. We married, mm. you know. We married. <laughs> we're can not you up. can you see any circumstance where you would think that you would have to go back? Apart from I mean, obviously. If, 
financially if things came crashing down? I mean, apart from financial, no, nothing else. Um, I do There's, go to So visit. you have no plan B to like not go to back. Not to move permanently? Absolutely not. Mm. Absolutely not. Do you go back on holidays? Yeah, I go to visit, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but when I'm there, I'll be ready to come back. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I wanted to ask you. Like, So when you get there, how does it feel when you go mm -hmm. back? Ghana withdrawal syndrome. That's what I call it. Yeah. Like, upon entering the airport, mm -hmm. you be like this. You be like. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. You had enough like, already. Where? Where is the? Where is the plantain sellers? Where yeah. is the coconut sellers? Right. Where is this? Where yeah. Is that? yeah. Like yeah. the no the noise that you get used to hearing. Mm -hmm. It's a different noise. Mm -hmm. It just you just feel the stress immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. It's just a feeling that you can't put into words. Yeah. And then the moment you come back and mm -hmm. you land, you just feel that humidity. You feel the yeah. heat. You be like, whoo, it's hot. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like, but I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, no, definitely. Yeah, it's just something inexplicable. And, mm. you know, it's, I always felt like there was something missing, you know, mm. and, you know, not being adjacent to my culture as much as I would have wanted to be growing mm. up. And over there, you know, back in the 90s, and yeah, I'm, sh I'm telling you how, how old I am. I, thought, I, I was you. calculating. You know I didn't you know, know if you were going to work it out, but like, I was calculating. I was yeah, like, okay, she's yeah. like, okay, I get Back you. in the 90s, <laughs> you know, back when people wasn't woke yet. Yeah, yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. you're in school and people are trying to say your name. Mm -hmm. you know, they don't really know how. Yeah. The teachers just mess it up. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I'm yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's me. Uh -huh. I'm here. Yeah. You know, because you just get tired of that, mm -hmm. you know. So just things like that where everybody, you know, how to pronounce my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, no, that's nice. So, like, okay, so I, because one of the things that I don't like to do, right, is over glamorize Ghana for more than what not. it is, okay? Because we've all had our challenges being here. Mm -hmm. There's some days we're like, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go like, stuff yourself, you really, Ghana, because you really, I've had enough. Yes. You have those days. Then we have days where we're like, I'm getting my suitcase, Weekly. I'm going, <laughs> I'm leaving, I've had enough, I'm done. We have those times, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. tell me, you, you must have had a day. Tell me Not about that day. day. Days. Yeah. <laughs> what you talking about? She's correcting well, me. Day, like. weeks. <laughs> when you're trying to do business mm -hmm. and maybe the business ethics ain't popping yeah. for the other person mm -hmm. um you know you have a meeting with someone and they flake on you they mm -hmm. tell you how they're definitely gonna do this and that on this date and this time yep, definitely and then definitely. they ghost you mm -hmm. a lot of the ghosting i think that's what really irritates me yes. the lack of straightforwardness i'm going to say something on camera right yes. now say it. okay say it. <laughs> <laughs> there is this culture in ghana where people don't like to deliver bad news yep so, work it out for yourself. I'm not going to tell you that I'm not turning up because I don't want to do this deal with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to ignore you. Disappoint. And it just, you just have to accept it for what it is. So, if the person hasn't showed or they have, haven't called you or whatever, it just is what it is. Work it out for yourself and move on with your life because that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. They don't like to deliver bad news. No. And they it's culturally. It's, but just it's, I'd rather you tell me. Tell me. I don't want to work with you or I'm not interested in doing what you're... Just tell me so I know where I stand. Yeah. I prefer that. It goes back, though, to how people are raised. Um, mm. And, you know, because I, I talk to people because I be trying to... Like, at first, I didn't know a lot of the stuff that... It's like people are raised not to, yeah. to make someone up angry or right. upset. Mm. Like, people hold things in. Keeping They're the afraid peace. to speak their mind. They're mm. afraid to be... Because when you're a kid, you're... You, you just don't talk. Yeah. Don't, mm -hmm. you know, be quiet. If it's yeah. an adult speaking, don't talk. You, you're not raised to express yourself I'm, I in love those that ways. You said that. Yeah. And knowing that gives me understanding for how people move or why they move. It don't excuse it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it helps to. Move. But do you think that they're still being raised that way? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And I feel like, you know, if people have had exposure to other cultures and things like that, mm. then maybe they have a different outlook. Yeah. And I'm not saying that go be like the West. Mm. Nah, that's not what I'm saying. Mm. I'm just saying that every culture has stuff that's good and bad, yeah. you know, and being able to identify the things that are not so good, mm. just because it's culture, that don't mean it's good, Yeah. you know, for, mm. for wherever you live. Mm. So just being able to, to pinpoint like, 
what we should take from our culture that yeah. is positive mm -hmm. and leave the negative stuff. Yeah. Period. Yeah. You yeah. know, because that's not a good trait. It cripples you in the workplace. I've had friends that tell me, you know, um, that growing up in that way has helped me. I mean, has hurt me mm. job wise because mm. I can't speak up for myself, you know, in the workplace. Isn't that crazy though that as an adult you still haven't been able to overcome those things because it's so ingrained in you? You don't know it. how because who who's who's giving you the tools to do it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm. So it helps me understand my people a little bit more because mm. I've always wondered that why are Ghanaians not straightforward? Not yeah. all Ghanaians, mm -hmm. but why? Yeah, and mm -hmm. when I start to like, you know, talk to family members, talk to friends, and just see. And really just be in it. Mm. See how people are raised. And yeah. see how, like, no, oh, you know, you just quiet. And, ev and everybody is pretty much introverted. A lot mm. of people are yeah. mm -hmm. for that reason. Yeah. You know, and so it's really the opposite. It's like, if you yeah. don't tell me, yeah. it's worse. Yeah, yeah. Disappoint me. Exactly. Disappoint yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Because that's literally so can, yeah. always the what people say when you mm -hmm. say, how come you just didn't tell me? Yeah. I didn't want to disappoint you. But you that's have done it in a worse way. That is disappointing. Yeah. By not being straightforward. Right. Because then I can't plan. Exactly. I can't make a plan B because right. I thought you said you was going to do this exact thing. Yeah. And it's like, I just, I'm somebody that. If you say you're going to do something, mm. I believe you. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, your no yes be yes and your yeah. no be no. Mm. Like, if you can't do it, just say that. Exactly. That's going to save me the headache. That's going <laughs> to save me the time yeah. from showing up. Yeah, And yeah. waiting on you. Standing on the street, waiting. You know? No one's coming. And so, mm -hmm. I think that, like... I try, like, if I'm doing business with somebody, I try to highlight that initially. Before we yeah. even do business, I'm like, yo, if there's ever a moment where you feel like you can't do something mm. or you're going to be late or you can't make it, please, please, mm. please, please. <laughs> Another one. Please, <laughs> right. just say that. Yeah, yeah. Don't be, a, you won't disappoint me. I mm -hmm. beg. Please, mm -hmm. I beg. You won't disappoint. You will disappoint if you say Oh, like yeah. I'll be here at this, mm. and it's not even like okay, like if you're if you're running late, cool. Just let me know. Yeah, like just a simple text mm. to be like, hey, um, this happened. I'm I'm gonna be like thirty minutes late. Right. Nah, you just there for two hours, <laughs> and then yeah, and you shouldn't be ups on, you shouldn't yeah, be upset about it. on in mm. like it's nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo. Yeah, I've had that happen to you me. You know, like plenty no times. kind of yeah, not, not even one. Explanate just yeah. entitlement. Mm -hmm. It's the entitlement for yeah. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so because mm -hmm. it's just so normal. Mm -hmm. You know, and you don't know. Sometimes it is true the excuse they give, mm -hmm. but then sometimes Feel it's a some lie. Type, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think the best one is if when someone works for you and they're like, "Oh, I need to go to the village because something has happened." They ain't coming back. Mm -mm. They 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 mm -mm. they ain't coming back. Mm -mm. Once they've gone to the village, That's you ain't it. seen that person again. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's it. Yeah, it's done. Like just That's delete the rat. number from your phone. That's like they ain't coming back. Just with me. Like you know, <laughs> I've had you know people take deposit money and run with it. You know, mm. just things like that. You know, um, but that's why if. And then also, too, on the other side, let me mm -hmm. talk about the other side, is yeah. that if you are trying to do a certain, like, a, like a service for someone. Yeah. Because I'm a, I'm a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. I do all of that, yeah. you know, and video work and things like that. So if somebody says they need your services, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So the other side of that is like, okay, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to work. And yeah. Like, yes. Let's go. Mm-hmm. And that's it. That's it. You don't hear nothing. Yeah. It you doesn't know? happen. So yeah. it's both sides. And you'd be like, wait, wait, what happened? Mm. How come these, like, no updates? But yeah. then if you try to, the person will actually get mad at you mm -hmm, for, mm -hmm. like, trying to be professional. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, people, you know, I would say always, if, if you are doing, like, a job for someone, Take your deposit up front, please. So you freelance, right? Do you freelance? Yeah, yeah. So you and I mean, you know, you have better luck outside. I mean, sorry to say. Yeah. Because yeah. people don't keep their word, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. So it's almost like you want to bring your skills and do everything here. Yeah. But it's so difficult because 
other people are not necessarily lack professional. Of transparency yeah. and the lack of the the lack of professionalism, mm. the lack of integrity. Um, not in all cases, because it's like when you find somebody that does have integrity. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Treasure them. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. And and, and then I want to say too, like. At the core of it, Ghanaians are good, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like they're good. Ghanaians yeah. will help you, oh, especially yeah. like if you're lost or something, like mm -hmm. Ghanaians will drop what they're doing yeah. to help you. I've the never number of times, yeah. Yeah, encountered <laughs> such kindness as I've encountered mm -hmm. here amongst mm -hmm. my people. Yeah. Over there, hey, hmm, you may find somebody that will help, but it's like, it's like, I won't go out of my way. Right, right. You know, if it's out of my way, mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry. It's only so much I could do. Yeah. Somebody will be busy building something mm -hmm. or do, they'll drop the thing and yeah. come and personally, like, escort you, walk with you. I've had people walk miles yeah, with me yeah, trying to, to find show a particular yeah. shop or yeah. place. I've and they're that. in the middle of, like, mm -hmm. that's beautiful, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Like, that's the type mm -hmm. of stuff that brings tears to your eyes. Yeah. Because it's like, yo, it's here. It's like something special that is mm -hmm. here. That's why we're drawn here. Yeah, absolutely. It's just that there's a little... We need little, to tweak some things. Just turn, yeah. you know, just a little bit of that. But mm. at the core... People mean well, mm -hmm. and but I just think like you know, it's no excuse to do to not have integrity or yeah. be honest. Maybe you haven't, maybe you have never seen it, mm. or you don't know what that looks like. Yeah, because I've actually asked some people um, about integrity before, mm -hmm. and some people don't even know what it means. Oh, really? Yeah, like the I, like I've I've encountered a couple of people that. And maybe because if I say it, if I say it in tree or if I say it, because you know how there's like ways to say it mm -hmm. so that they'll, you yeah. know, so, right. so I, and I think that too, but I just think that that's something that's missing, mm. integrity. Mm. You so know. you speak tree? Uh, very little, but my, my family, <laughs> my family is Ewe and Ga. Oh really? So Do you speak Ewe? A little. Oh, um, gosh. I'm learning. I'm learning. Oh, I, and my I want. Gosh. I really want to learn it because it's I'm such just, a beautiful I'm, language. Yeah, I, and I'm I know Ewe, you're Ewe too yeah. because of your name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And I so, can fum, like fumble my way through. Yeah. But, you know, I love like, it. I love the mm, language. It's like music. And yeah. Yeah. I, I really wish I was fluent. You know. Yeah. Because you know the thing. Is, one thing you have to understand about being here. Sometimes if you don't communicate to the person their language, it, there's. The English language is not, it don't have it's enough dry. words. It's dry. We don't have enough words to sometimes translate. So sometimes if someone says something in Ewe and like maybe I want to translate it to someone, I'm like, I don't know how to say this in English because then we don't have the words. Yeah. And so we're missing a whole chunk it's of the so language. Sad. You just can't and translate. The expressions and like the beauty of it. Like, how, yeah. like the language is. I know, I love it. You know, mm -hmm. and I just really, you know, I would love to be fluent. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. We're going to have to do some Ewe classes. Yeah, let's do it. Right here, <laughs> right here. Actually, yeah. we were initially planning on doing a culture and language course here. Really? But, like, make, making it fun. Okay, yeah, because you, know? you know I'm not I'm not like um, a classroom learner. Yeah, I don't learn. no. I don't, I'm the worst. I'm just be, you be talking to me. I'll be thinking about something. No, else. no <laughs> lecture style. Exactly. Yeah, no, that don't work for me. You know, uh -uh. Just, just tell like tell a little bit and then let yeah. the person do it and then right. tell a little bit and like, like that's how I learned. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of how we wanted to structure mm. it and even do like mock. Mm. Um, situations right, yeah. where people can actually pretend like a day in the life of a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. You go, you wake up, you buy cocoa, you buy this, you buy that. <laughs> you go, you get in the trotro, you mm -hmm. drive, so you're yeah, there. So yeah. we would, like, that's my intent to right. have those, you know, mm. act it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. So I'm fun. looking for, you know, a someone to, someone to actually teach the course. Right. Yeah, so mm. um, yeah, we would do that right here. Um, and I think it would be helpful for diasporans that are coming. Of course. And, you know, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. so many little small things that you should know. Mm. Not just even, not even just limited to learning the language. Yeah. Just things you should know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're of, in Ghana. Of course. Practical things. There's a lot because if you get it wrong, yeah, there's no hard left lessons. Hand, no, mm -hmm. you know, and then knowing about the disappoint factor, like that will get you, that will like open your mind. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. just those, even everything that we've been discussing mm -hmm. is a class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. so just all of that stuff, like I feel like it's very beneficial to know. Mm. What do you, th what would you say is like the one thing that, makes people fail when they move here 
expect when they expect that it's gonna be just like America or just like UK mm. or just like wherever they came from, mm. you know, take that out your mind. Yeah. This is Ghana. Mm. Ghana is Ghana all by itself, mm. and it's gonna be Ghana. Yeah. Period. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. No, you can't expect. But why? How come? Stop asking yourself why. Mm -hmm. Cause you'll never get an answer. Yeah. Your yeah. why is. Mm -hmm. is is in the sky. It don't make no sense. Okay? Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, that's the first thing you got to get by. Yeah. The why. Yeah. 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 No, it's why true. ask why? Mm -hmm. Just accept it. Just, that's just you know, how it is. And, and the, it's like some people say, no, I don't want to accept that. I want to change it. And mm -hmm. I I'm a change maker as mm -hmm. well. There's just a ways to go about it. Yeah. I find that if you just have a talk with people and sit with them one on one, mm -hmm. you can't be shouting. You can't be. A lot of people come here; they will get angry. Oh hey. no! Take your anger somewhere. They'll it doesn't work. It anger actually doesn't, doesn't work. work on Ghanaians. No, it doesn't. They'll, they'll <gasps> literally like tune you out. They won't even mind. Yeah, you. they're like anger. Uh, no, you can't get you angry. You can't. Here. No, you can't. If no, the if the if <laughs> the no. boat driver mm -hmm. like you know that is a that's a course on itself how to deal <laughs> with drivers. Of course, you, you can't just be there shouting at them. Yeah. Do you really think they're gonna mm -hmm. do do whatever it is you're asking? Yeah. Like you get far when you sit with people and be like, look, mm -hmm. why? Yeah. Like yeah. joke with them small. Yeah, like, you have to make it joke. Make yeah. them make them laugh small. And yeah. Like, I, you can point them out. You can mm -hmm. call them out on their mm -hmm. BS. Yeah. But in a friendly way. Yeah. If you can understand that about Ghana, you mm -hmm. get far in yeah. your life. Yeah. Like you get far. People don't. That's how you can get people to do what you want. Like to actually listen to Correct. to it. And Correct. you know you don't mm -hmm. learn that until late. You, no matter how much you want to shout and yell and scream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pointless. It's point. It's, yeah. it's it's not gonna help you. Mm, mm. <laughs> They'll even laugh at you. Yeah, <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> no, no. So, cause culturally that don't resonate with yeah. Ghanaians. Ghanaians don't like trouble. Hey, Ghanaians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't like. You yeah. don't like problems mm -hmm. <laughs> at all. It's so true. You it's know. So, true. so those are some of like the things I've like really learned, and mm. it's it's been helpful to know these things because yeah. you gotta take take that type of like the way things are so organized and you know th that's some of the things that I miss mm. you know about you know being over there yeah. the organization mm. um the structure yeah you know mm. those those are the things that you miss the most the yeah. the, the smooth roads yep. you know things like that mm -hmm. um sometimes just being able to do a simple task mm -hmm. like Go and renew your license or go and renew up, your God. registration. Hey, doing <laughs> doing these she said it. Hey. with my whole chest. <laughs> doing these small things that are supposed yeah. to be so easy. That, hey. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that's that that's the thing. I always say that. I'm like, gun is beautiful until you need to do something specific. Like you need to interact with some type of organization or you need to get like, uh, that's when like, oh, man, okay, just, hold on. Let me breathe. You know, I'm coming. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Mm. You got to like get your mind ready. Yeah. You know? That's the thing. And you have to have connections. Number one. You gotta have a guy for every. Oh, I got a guy for that. Yeah. Oh, you need yeah. you need you need your your windows replaced. Just, I got a guy for you. Yeah. Have to build a mm -hmm. so, that and right. that could be yeah. a great business idea mm -hmm. to make an app where there is a like a reliable mm -hmm. reliable business contact app. Girl, let's do it because <laughs> that let's is so it. needed. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. it's based on referrals, yeah. referral based app. You know. Let's not even talk about mechanics. Woo! But you know one all thing, of it. even having said all that, I will say that just because someone does something right for you doesn't mean they're going to do it right for me. There's no consistency. That's the issue uh, that yeah, I have. Yeah, you're right. That's that word. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? You were just lucky you got yours thing. So you might start recommending that person and they, they just fell with it. It's happened to me plenty that's, of times. Yeah, you're right. So that's, that's, right. that's the issue that is still there. Do you you're know right. what I mean? I haven't yeah. worked out how to overcome it's, that. You know, just business ethics is lacking. Mm. You know, and I'm like, okay, I, I know there's people that are trying to like start classes mm -hmm. and 
teach people. Yeah. And, you know, let's not get into the customer service. At, mm, customer, <laughs> let's have a moment of silence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, I mean, having said all that, we still are we in Ghana. Still We're still here. We're still here. That's the thing. So, I mean, I like... I like episodes like this where we talk mm -hmm. about real things, the good right? And the bad yes, and because real. it is it's it's the, a genuine perspective of what it's like to live here. Like let's not glamorize mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ghana more than what it is because It really is a marriage though. It, it is. really is. It is. You have to work You're at staying it. Staying because yeah. you love the person. Right, exactly. Even though they irritate you every <laughs> day. Uh -huh. And you just look at the person and be like, "Why are you breathe like that?" Right. <laughs> you got to breathe like that. Why are you <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah every day though yeah every day? yeah that's yeah. The, that's that's my relationship that is with Ghana. yeah know? we're working through our toxic marriage mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna get there yeah we're gonna get there definitely you know because the more um it takes a village yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. <laughs> so the more of us that can bind together mm -hmm. join together work together that's that's the way out it's yeah. not looking at different entities for help mm -hmm. because our own people are here. Why are we yeah. going to, you know, we don't need the Chinese to help us. We mm. don't need, like, we can help ourselves. Mm -hmm. We can be self-sufficient. Yeah. There's so many intelligent minds who, who can do it. Yeah. And it's, it's they're not getting what they deserve. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Money-wise, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you talk to people, you even talk to your boat drivers. Mm. Have you ever just had conversations mm -hmm, with, mm -hmm. and I think that'll be a dope, like, series for it's a podcast true. It's true. conversations yeah. mm -hmm. with different and various boat yeah. drivers oh they have drivers. a lot to say they yeah. have you will Ooh, learn yeah you will learn they have a like, lot to say i have a lot of ideas we'll talk more we will. But, <laughs> but i just think like that would be dope because it's great for to hear for people to hear our opinions mm -hmm. but Talk to people that have been born and raised in Ghana yeah. and ask them, why have they lost hope? Mm. Why do they want to leave Ghana so bad? Yeah. Like, when you, when you hear their side, like, I get it. Like, I, under, I get it. I don't get it as much as they would get it because mm. they've lived here all their life, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So who am I? But I'm, I'm, I would just hope that we could give people hope mm, mm. that, you know, there are people that actually want to see the best in yeah. you. Mm. You know, and actually see you succeed. Yeah, absolutely. Because just knowing that and having that affirmation, it's like, yo, like, mm. you know, who? Because who can who can they go to? Who yeah. can they? Mm. You know, so that's that's how I feel. Like just instilling that in in the minds of our people mm. and mm. giving them that hope and actually trying to create more jobs for people. Yeah, um, helping them monetize their creative mm. talents. Mm. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah, of course. When absolutely. you see the art. It should be selling for millions. Yeah. You know? Because mm -hmm. some of the stuff that is there is just due to the connections that they have. Mm. It's not really much to the pieces of art, but it's mm. the intention behind it. Yeah. But when you sit and talk to different artists, we have a series called Still. Artopia Talks, and we have a couple of episodes where we're speaking to a couple of different artists and mm. their inspiration mm. behind why I'm they sure create. It's enlightening. And it's just beautiful to hear, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, just, just like, really... Um, showing love and showing you know intention behind what we're doing mm. it can really help yeah you know? so I like yeah that. so just as a final question what would you say is there anything that you would do differently if you were to have the opportunity to move again is there anything you would change save more money <laughs> <laughs> that was That's so quick, quick and easy, easy. Quick. <laughs> yeah. save more money save more money yeah yeah so so you'd say to anybody that was moving if you're coming, make sure you have enough money saved. Have about three jobs, <laughs> minimum, mm -hmm. and a lot of money saved up. Mm -hmm. And money on top of money saved up. Right. Um, yeah. Try to, try if you can, try to, like, okay, this is my other theory. If you're coming here and you want to live the soft life, you don't mm -hmm. want to suffer, you don't want to struggle. Yeah. Don't get a house. Get an apartment. Mm. Okay. You know. Why do you say that? Because like, when there's light out, mm -hmm. and not if, when. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to worry about like buying fuel for a generator, mm -hmm. this and that, let them do it. Mm. Live somewhere where. 
it's mm -hmm. taken, the Definitely. services are there. Service yeah. department, mm -hmm. you know, I can't stress that enough. Yeah. Do that. That was one of the things I really, like, thought hard about before mm. moving. So did you buy somewhere or you, or you rented? A little bit of both. But <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's clear answer. You know, uh -huh. as you can see, mm -hmm. my life is not an ordinary life. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. a little bit of both. Yeah. But um, yeah, just just you know, try to try to get an apartment that is serviced. Yeah. Um, with a generator, backup mm. generator, backup water supply, all of that. Mm. And then if you can get something that has solar, because there are some places that have solar power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, whatever you could do to make your life easier and yeah. live somewhere where it's like the center of everything. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to go too far to do yeah. what you want. Mm. You know, so those are like top tier. Yeah. If you... If you if you don't mind, mm -hmm. you know, going through some of the things that you wouldn't have to go through living mm -hmm. in, oh, get a house, yeah. do it. But if you're like by yourself, if you're married mm -hmm. and you're coming and you have a husband already here waiting for mm -hmm. you, praise the Lord, <laughs> praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. But if you're by yourself, and yeah. especially a lady, mm -hmm. and you don't want to deal with all that, I did say it was a final question, but I just need to ask you this: How yeah. do you? What's it like for you doing business as a woman here? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a question. I was gonna be one of the questions. Interesting, sis. Mm. You know, um, the hmm. Let me see how how can I say this. <laughs> Sometimes being a lady in a sea of dudes mm -hmm. is very challenging mm -hmm. because men they be trying you, mm -hmm. and it's so normal. Yeah, You're like you can't just. You just be trying to have a simple meeting, mm -hmm. and you can't even do that. No. Why not? Because men be trying to pull up, and I'm like, yo, I'm not here for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I thought we were having a meet. They mm -hmm. want to talk about everything else, mm -hmm. but yeah. what you came to talk about, right. mm -hmm. you know, lack of professionalism. You can't just live. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like that's that's kind of annoying. Um, I've had somebody tell me. I need to go to their house uh -huh. for the meeting. Uh -huh. okay. I bet you do. Uh -huh. You That's, know, yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm just like, excuse mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. to, to go and do what? Right, right. I don't even know you. Mm -hmm. For what? Let's meet at a cafe. Yeah. I kept saying that, and he was like, no, I think that, you know, and I've, I've had, quote, unquote, someone tell me, Sometimes, in order to get what you want, you have to do certain things. There. You have to do certain things to get what you want. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, to get where you want in life, you have to do certain Hey, uh, are you okay? Huh? I've literally had somebody say that to me. Bro. Really? I, I, promise. I promise. What? I promise. The bold face yeah. cheek. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, for me, I'm just like, what about me the gives goal. you the impression that the, this is okay? This goal. conversation is okay. Like, mm. what, tell me what I did wrong so I can correct it. Like, I'm just like, how yo, can you step to me like that? What? I'm just like, yo, who, who has allowed? But it's sad because I know that there, there probably are women who are cool with that or who feel like they have to do that this in order is, to make it. This is the thing. That's the sad thing. I'm getting comfortable because this yeah. is a bit, no, this is this like is, a serious, real. what's it's it real. been like for you when guys hit on you here? Um, I would say different things, different experiences. Sometimes it's, sometimes they're respectful. Mm -hmm. but I, I would say it's 60, 40. Mm -hmm. Um, because I, I be telling them off the jump, mm -hmm. don't, don't try me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 40%, however, will say disrespectful things like that. Mm -hmm. Just assume just cause you're a man that I'm yeah. supposed to do this with you mm -hmm. or come to your house mm -hmm. because you're at this level in life. I yeah. should, mm -hmm. I should go to your home and I should <laughs> lie with you because simply mm -hmm. because you're a man. Right. Right. I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, no, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know you, man. I know you for five minutes. Yeah. Sir? There's things I want to say, but I feel like... The, say it, girl. The we them already can't handle it. it. No, we already No, like the it. people them it. can't handle it. We, like, nah, <laughs> say it. Say I don't it. want you guys to pull up on me like... <laughs> nah, say it. We went there. We already went there. We opened up the can. Because like, okay, so there's this... There seems to be like this culture where guys think that they can buy you. Mm. And I, I hate that. They feel like they have the money 
so that they can just get whatever they want mm -hmm. from you. And I find it so annoying mm -hmm. because for me personally, I can't, you can't buy me. No, I don't care no, for a millionaire. No, if I don't no. like you, I don't vibe with you. I don't care about exactly. your money. I, exactly. I really don't. But they just have this thing where they just feel like I have the money. So I'm, I'm yeah. going to go for her. I'm like, have you looked at... <laughs> and it's like, yo, like, oh, you what? will, you will say yes if you have money. Right? No, I, no. I don't even like you. You're not even. A but then you see, that makes me think that there is a group of women that are going for that, and that's why they have the confidence to be able to approach you in that way because people are accept. Some people are accepting that. Yeah, they're able to be bought because there's a lot of women that feel like maybe that's their only option in order to, uh, you know, get out of their mama's house, get out of mm. their, you know, father's house, whatever right. it is. And maybe they haven't um, established a career or mm. this or that. So they're like, oh, this is my meal ticket. Right, so they just right. go for it. They don't even like the guy. And, you know, the person doesn't have personality. They're boring. But, but they have money. But, <laughs> you know, but the other side of that is that sometimes, even if the person's boring and... If they are genuinely going to look after you, like, okay, maybe that's your thing and you'll have that. But a lot of the times, don't just take you, don't use you, and then... With, don't lead with that. And just, yeah, just Push assume. you to the winds. Like, I don't... I, and then talk about the other side. Right. The other side. So right. Mm -hmm. is you think you're about to come up yeah. and you done met your meal ticket, mm -hmm. your, your golden egg. <laughs> Let's talk about that side. Hey! Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Nah, you the that ain't going to happen either. You the side chick. You just, you just <laughs> came up. Oh, you're from this place? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm rich. Mm -hmm. We rich. Oh. This and that. Oh. that. That's a thing too. Right, yeah, that is a you thing. Know? That you is know? a thing. That, so, that is a thing. Nah, That's definitely like, a it's, thing. It's two extremes. It's two extremes. And like I said, if I like you, it's because I like your heart, your soul, right. your spirit. We mm. vibe. It don't, it's it's like, yeah, you want to be with somebody, of course, that can take care of you mm. as a woman, of mm. course, but you also can take care of yourself as a woman. Right, yeah. You know, you're not like, you're not leading with that. Yeah. You want to be able to be independent, but mm. you also know that, hey, like, are you are you trying to get at me for the right reasons? You have to vet you know, people so, it's a, so it's well. It's the initial vibe that you have mm. with a person that then makes you ask other questions right but you gotta have that vibe it's not just oh i'm gonna talk to you because i know you're a millionaire mm. no, I'm not. Mm. Like, i don't even know you come to the wrong household yeah. like i ain't got it like that no mm. we not e i'm not even attracted to you mm. Mm. so and even if i was i don't that type of attitude makes my stomach turn literally mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. you ever been to those type of parties where <laughs> you know, it's, you can tell that you just got some money five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. The way you're acting. Oh you yeah, never yeah, met yeah. This type of folks yeah, it's where fake. it's like, yo, I can't be in those settings. Yeah, I, I don't really. I, I mean, can't. yeah, I I keep myself to myself. My circle is very, very, mm -hmm. very small. I don't really let a lot of people in just yeah. because I just don't have the time to deal with. I don't like the fakeness. I just, I just the... don't. I don't have the time, yeah. so I just like to keep myself clean keep, keep my family close mm -hmm. keep my people's clothes yeah that's all you that's know. all you can do so have you dated here um yes <laughs> <laughs> we was gonna wrap yeah. up but it's just uh, like we, i mean I, you know. I, I was afraid of that question <laughs> that's a layered question <laughs> okay mm. okay just mm. tell mm. tell me very quickly what what has that been like girl how much time you, how much time we really got <laughs> i'm gonna just say it like this mm -hmm. it's been interesting interesting to say the least um mm -hmm. it's a lot of ghosting that happens really yeah um just like i said i have met some respectful guys mm. and then i'm just a, i just like straightforwardness yeah you know mm. that's it just yeah. be straightforward mm. you know they could be you could one day feel like hey this isn't gonna work or mm. what I'm cool. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just, mm -hmm. I, I would prefer mm -hmm. the straightforward approach. Yeah. And I feel like communication is huge with me. Mm -hmm. And then the minute that stops, yeah. what do you even have? Mm -hmm. You know, like, how can you want to build with someone and the communication just isn't, isn't there? Yeah. And the trust. Because mm -hmm. when you don't have that communication, how can you trust, mm -hmm. even grow to trust someone? 
So that's been my biggest thing. So have, is it just going out for dates with people or you actually had a relationship? No, here? I've had I've had a couple of relationships. I date with intention. Mm -hmm. I don't just date just to be dating um, mm -hmm. right now because I've mentioned, you know, the 90s. So yeah. uh, you can already tell where I'm going with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, there have been times where I've just, you know, gone on dates. You know, just for fun or whatever. But right now, where I'm at in life, I, I date with or, intention. Or like, oh, every, like I only date Ghanaian guys only because, I mean, I'm not gonna say that. It's just that lately, hmm. within the last few years, that's all I've dated. Because hmm. I just feel like the devil, you know, is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hmm. You already kind of like him. Yeah. And I've dated, I've dated, I've dated African American guys. I've dated Ghanaian guys. I've, I've dated other guys from other parts of the continent mm -hmm. of Africa. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm here, so yeah, that's, that's I know how option. they move, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I do want to settle down with a Ghanaian man mm -hmm. that is forward, like a forward thinker. Yeah, you know, oh, they're here. They're you know, here. there's a lot. There's mm -hmm. a lot. You know, and just. You know, like somebody that is emotionally available. Mm. I would say that. Mm, mm. I yeah, I yeah. You feel Understand me, girl? That. Emotionally you available. You feel me? Yeah. Because there's a lot of emotionally unavailable people. Yeah. And people that don't know how to communicate mm. in a relationship. Mm, Those mm. things are huge. Yeah. And you know, of course, you got to have the spiritual connection. That's number one for mm -hmm. me. Like if. If we can't, if we're not rolling with God, it's not gonna work mm. for me. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I need that first and foremost. Yeah, because yeah. like, if you guys go and you know have an argument, we know that we have a meeting point. Yeah, we're like, look, we can't agree on this. Let's look, we're gonna pray this out. Yeah, let's pray it out until mm -hmm. we find out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, you yeah. know, so I'm like, yo, like if 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 we're not vibing on that, we mm -hmm. really don't have nothing to talk about. Mm -hmm. Cause what a, how is it going to work? Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of like what sometimes makes dating very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know if you've experienced or how, yeah. like how have your dating um, hurdles been? Uh, I haven't really. Heard <laughs> <laughs> um, I like uh, the what, hesitation. Why are you trying to interview me for I'm like, interviewing oh, you now. Like, what's happening here? <laughs> What's, what's like, Let's what? turn what? the tables. Like, yeah, 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 so how has it been for you <laughs> in these, these Ghana streets? No. Do you know what? I haven't actually dated a Ghanaian guy here before. Mm. No. Um, first of all, I'm, I'm quite introverted. I don't really let people into my space like that. For a number of reasons, because... Making me stop, like say stuff we, on camera. We, we're I'm not here it up. to talk yes. about. Do you yes. know what I'm saying? We, we here. Yeah. Yes, we we going there. We going there. <laughs> no, like you just you have to be so careful because I just for me personally, I like to keep myself a certain way. So I don't like to put myself out there like that. Like if I'm gonna do something, like you said, it has to be with intention, and I don't really have time to work out if you're gonna be if what you're saying to me is truthful or not, and I just don't want to give my the headspace to it. So yeah. I'd rather just work. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm coming out of I'm coming out of a long term marriage, right? Mm. And I just I, I just don't want to do it. And even like one of the experiences I had here, I met this guy. I didn't meet him. I was minding my own business. I've just told this story on camera before. And he wanted my number. And instead of him to ask me like a gentleman for my number, he felt like he should twist my arm and pull the phone mm. out from my hand, yeah, to, to take my number because I no, said I didn't, didn't want to. Yeah, and then he was like, I can buy you anything in the shop. Let's hey. go to the shop, I'll buy you anything. Hey. I'm like, I, I don't have time no, for, like, that's not I cool. like a particular type of man and I haven't, maybe I haven't put myself out there, but I haven't come across that. Okay, I want to challenge you. Okay, <laughs> ready? Okay. Just... Give it a try a little bit. If if you're seeing, it, just have a conversation. It starts with that mm -hmm. alone. Because that alone can tell you whether to proceed. I just feel like there's so much difference though. And I think maybe, I, maybe for me personally, I'm maybe just not in that space where I'm like, I want to work it that much right now. Maybe like, it's, yeah. Maybe, maybe, you, maybe it, you're just cool right now. Yeah. But when you're ready, you're ready. And... 
there, you'll find somebody that gets you. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who have moved from where you've moved from and yeah. are here now. So just like having that commonality can help. Yeah, for, like for me, there has to be that connection. There has to be like I need to, I need something. But this is not about <laughs> me. Like this ain't about me. Like we, this is not what we're talking about. I will do a video. I will do a video, and I will talk. I'm, I'm gonna. Yes, I'm we gonna are here for it. All out. We're what, here I'm for it. All out. But today is not that yes, day. That's, that's, this is this is what the space does. Yes. Do you know how many like deep conversations <laughs> we've had here? Like people come here and what just like. What you trying to do here? This is like, just, this just what happened. Happen. What are you playing at? Like what you playing at? What is this? They say about this is me. This is what happens. You know, it's the space. It's just something about it. Yeah. You know? No. I like. I I am gonna address because I know loads of you have questions right now because obviously I've done a video where I was dating somebody but I'm going to address that in another video so <laughs> stay tuned for that I'm going to tell you I'm going to give you guys yes, a yes we are we that. can't wait <laughs> yes yes we, we ready <laughs> my, my life is like an open diary so everything I do is just like open mm -hmm. but I'm here to interview you not here to interview <laughs> you know what I'm Okay. I like I love I love that we went there. I, I mean I have a I have an interviewer's spirit, mm -hmm. if you will. So uh -huh. you know, it will shut it down. 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 Anyway, let's take a tour of this amazing space because we need to show the people them. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Yeah. So uh where can people find you if they want to so, know a bit more? You can find me on the interwebs. G Y R L underscore abstract. That's A B S T R A K T. And that's my music page. And then the page for Artopia mm -hmm. is A R T O P double I A underscore G H. Awesome. Lovely. So do go ahead, check out her socials, follow her, support her as much as you can. Yes. We all need some support. But that is the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. There have been a few little things pop up there that we weren't expecting, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. <laughs> Don't forget to also like, comment, and share this video. Until next time, we are out. Nutifafa.